Now, here we are with all the cars. Mm -hmm. And you and I were talking off camera, and you were telling me about some of the things that have gone wrong over the years involving cars. And the most serious one was a shooting incident. Yeah. Can we talk about that? Yeah, of course. What happened? Yeah, so I, I was DJing a club in Jersey. Uh, man, I was wearing all my jewelry. And uh, I have security that usually comes out with me all the time. Uh, my security at the time was from Jersey, so they pretty much... Damn near drive me to the highway where I cross over the bridge because every night I would sleep at the radio station. I would leave the club at 4 a.m., have to be up at 6. It made no sense to go home, so I would sleep at the station. Security got me on the highway. Once I got on the highway, they kind of veered off, and he went his way. Um, and we didn't know that there was a car following us. Car following us uh, pulled up behind us and put a police light on, a siren, uh, and tried to pull me over. Uh, my father's a retired police officer, so I kind of know what police lights look like. And this was more of a blue light, which is usually firefighter, not <laughs> Police officer. Okay. So when I seen it, I slowed down because I'm, I still wasn't 100% sure because you're going through your mind. Now you, you're, you're black, you're driving, you're like, I don't want to make the wrong moves, but I'm looking, I'm like, I don't see that much red. So I started slowing down and then the car ran into me, crashed into me. Wow. Trying to get me to pull over. When the car ran into me, I took off. Now this time I'm driving a, a Rolls Royce Wraith and I take off, boom, they take off. Um, but I'm that kind of person, if somebody does something to me, I need to know who, why, what, and where. If not, I won't be able to sleep. If I pulled off on them and I, and I got out of Dodge, I would not be able to sleep because I'm like, is this a hit? Is this somebody looking for me? What is it? Uh, so for myself, I slowed down. I let them catch up to me, and I went right through Easy Pass. If you don't know what Easy Pass is, it's, it's the device where you don't have to pay the toll. You put the little sticker in your car, and you drive right through. But I pulled the Easy Pass down, and the reason I pulled the Easy Pass down is when you go through it, it takes a picture of the car. They were so close on me, it took a picture of not only my car, their car. So when we got through the easy pass, they tried to cut me off. Now we're on a highway. I put the car in reverse, and now I'm driving backwards. Okay. At that point, I realized that I didn't know, and my, some of y'all might not know out there either, that a car really only goes 35 miles per hour backwards. Right. So when you watch Fast and Furious, and the car is going backwards at 110 miles per hour. That's modified. That, that's, that's all bullshit. Yeah, it's all bullshit. Okay. Only goes 35 miles an hour. So now I'm looking like Biggie in the, in the hypnotized video. <laughs> Back was trying to go in this car. So when I hit it in reverse, they jumped out the car. Now they're running towards the car. But I'm already in reverse going backwards. So they pull out and just start shooting at the car. Hit the car around four times. Uh, three were in the bumper and one hit the tire. Huh. Uh, shout to Rolls Royce because they make a sturdy car. The even though the bullet went in the tire, it got lodged in the tire. And I guess the whatever they have in that tire created a foam and kept the tire going so I could still drive and wouldn't be flat. Because if it would have been flat, I wouldn't be able to go and they would have caught up to the car. So I was able to, to drive out, spin the car around, go off the next thing. And there was a cop right there. And I got I pulled over right there and, and was able to uh, talk to the cop and make it home that next day. Okay, so you go to the cop. You tell him what happens. Your car got bullet holes in it. And then they start checking the easy pass and they find the license plate of that car? Yeah, so what happened was, uh, at first, I don't think the cops necessarily believed. Um, and all the cops came. And but there's bullet holes in the car. They did not, they still did not believe. Okay. Treated me like I, I was, a, a, I feel like I was the, the suspect. Okay. Made a report and I went home. I didn't say nothing to anybody because a lot of times when things like that happen, all you have to do is be quiet. Somebody's going to talk. Um... And I guess one of the cops in the actual precinct knew who I was. It was like, that's DJ Envy's car. And after that, when I got off the radio the next day, there must have been 20 police cars at my house. Uh, and, you know, they did, you know, they, they took the car. They did ballistics. They even did uh, look for gunpowder because they thought maybe I was shooting back at him at the time. So they mm -hmm. checked all that. Um, and like you said, Easy Pass. So I told them what happened to Easy Pass. They checked the Easy Pass records. They found the guy. They found the car. And the guy was arrested. I think he did a couple of years. I think he did like six, seven years. So he kept his real license plate on his car while he was attempting to basically rob you. Correct. So they didn't want the car. They wanted the jewelry. Wanted the jewelry. Okay. So the guy gets arrested. Did you have to go to court and everything? No. Mm -mm. They pleaded out. Oh, they were, they was, their face was on candy camera. Was it one guy or multiple guys? It was, uh, it was, I think it was two, three people in the car. Two or three people. That is so not worth it, man. Seven years for nothing. Correct. Got nothing out of the situation. Nothing at all. 